Hi. Bunta Iligan here. This is a large uh, Premna. Uh, we, we finally call the Kung Fu. Uh, this has been previously trimmed, but some branches were allowed to grow. The branches growing laterally were allowed to thicken this size, to thicken so that uh, the lateral branches would grow thicker. Like these branches here, to grow thicker. These branches, these branches. Okay, so that's what I call directional pruning. All of these uh, uh, branches which are growing laterally. Of course, the objective is to to get a wider wider foliage there, like that. This will be now. I'll be cutting this and wide. So this is it's a work while it is developing its branch structure. So prone, uh, prone, let it grow again. Prone, let it grow again. But what we let grow is we do it selectively, and some branches have to go. Okay, so like this one, some of the ones growing up and growing down are cut. So this one has to go. go. Growing inside and this one is growing outside so this will be cut a little bit longer and then there will be ward also this one. This will be cut a little bit longer. Okay, and that one going inside this one will be cut. This one is thick enough, will be cut then a little bit longer. Okay, this one. Uh, I will not cut, I will let this grow further. Okay, here I will cut this one going inside like that. This one going up, we have to go. This one going inside. So this one is growing laterally. So we cut but a little bit uh, longer so we, we, we can wire that. And this one also a little bit longer. And this one only, this one is also going inside. So. Okay. So this is now how the with this wind stripped design premna looks like now. We finally call the kung fu because it's something like that. So what I have accomplished at this stage is that I have built these strong branches, okay, by letting uh, the the twigs grow. Some are almost a meter long. And some are half a meter so in order to first, because first the thing that you have to do is to build a good branch structure wherein your uh, ramified branches will have to be emanating from. So, to get this into proportion, so what's lagging is this one. This branch was lagging, I need to grow this further. This is much uh, thinner than the rest of the branches. The rest of the branches are okay already. But this one I will have to grow, so that means I will have to grow them long. This has been lagging because this has been shaded out when I was uh, growing this. But I'm, sure, I'm confident I can make this a catch up. So this is at this stage now. Okay, maybe it will take another three years. Three years to really build a good ramification. But again, uh, what I'm trying to say is that you don't build your uh, bonsai in in a one-time event. Uh, for example, what you see in the other professional videos wherein they show one bonsai and then in a few hours, four hours, five hours, it, it transforms into a, a, a bonsai. You know? A very nice bonsai. So, in those cases, uh, you... you if you are astute enough, then you will know that that has been prepared for so many years and then that final uh, uh, work demo prepared that uh, material to become a good bonsai. But what I'm showing you is the real, the real thing that you cannot just make a bonsai in 
in four or five hours. Okay, you have to prepare that bonsai year. So this has been uh, two years old already in this pot, but these branches were built in a big from a bigger pot. Okay, now I started to put this in a bonsai pot to to train the roots. So while training the roots, you are also ramifying, but you cannot just also just ramify when this are the shoots are this left and you immediately cut that's not the way to do it you have to let it grow to to develop this uh, primary branches till next